Welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lab videos. And in today's video, we will discuss the YVOC questions that could be asked if you are performing a potentiometric titration. That is the estimation of ferrous in the given ferrous ammonium sulfate solution using standard potassium dichromate solution potentiometrically. So if you are doing this experiment, the first question that could be put to you is, what type of titration are you performing? It is a redox titration performed on potentiometer. What is the oxidizing agent used here? The oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate solution. What is getting oxidized? It is the ferrous iron present in the ferrous ammonium sulfate solution which gets oxidized to ferric iron. What is getting reduced and what is the oxidation state of chromium in dichromate solution? It is the dichromate which gets reduced to chromate and the oxidation state of chromium in dichromate solution is plus 6 and it gets reduced to plus 3. What is the principle on which the potentiometry is based? Potentiometry is based on Nernst equation. What is Nernst equation? Nernst equation is a mathematical expression between potential and ratio of concentration of reactants and products that is oxidized and reduced species. Here in this case it is ferrospheric couple. At the equivalence point it becomes ferrous dichromate couple and beyond the equivalence point it becomes dichromate chromate couple. So what happens to the potential when you add potassium dichromate solution to the ferrous ammonium sulfate solution? When the acidified potassium dichromate solution is added to the ferrous ammonium sulfate solution, the potential increases and it keeps on increasing throughout the experiment. What is the potential before the equivalence point, at the equivalence point and beyond the equivalence point? Before the equivalence point, the potential is because of ferrous ferric couple and it is around 0.75 volts. In the proximity of the equivalence point, it is due to ferrous dichromate couple and it is approximately 1.04 volts. But beyond the equivalence point, the potential is due to dichromate chromate couple and it is around 1.33 volts and this is the reason potential keeps on increasing initially it increases gradually then near the equivalence point it jumps takes a leap and beyond the equivalence point again it increases gradually how do you get the equivalence point the equivalence point is obtained by plotting the titration and differential curves. So what is a titration curve? In the titration curve, the potential is taken on the y-axis and the volume of potassium dichromate added is taken on the x-axis. In the differential curve, the difference in the potential and difference in the volume is taken on the y-axis and volume of potassium dichromate is taken on the x-axis. What is oxidation? Oxidation is loss of electrons. Where does the oxidation takes place? Oxidation always takes place at anode. What are the electrodes employed in this experiment? The electrodes employed in this experiment are saturated calomel electrode as reference electrode and platinum electrode as indicator electrode. Can you define reference electrode? A reference electrode is one whose potential is known and it remains constant over long periods of time. The saturated calum electrode is used as reference electrode in all potentiometric titrations. Can you define indicator electrode? An indicator electrode is one whose potential changes with respect to the concentration of reactants in the solution. Platinum electrode is employed as the indicator electrode in this experiment. 
what are the advantages of potassium it there are many advantages of potassium it it is an inexpensive procedure it is highly accurate because the equivalence point is obtained through the graph it does not require any indicator even small quantities of solution can be titrated conveniently with accuracy turbid solutions opaque solutions and colored solutions can be titrated with ease and convenience the results are highly accurate what are the applications of potassium it there are many applications of potassium it it is used in the analysis of pollutants in the environmental samples in the drug analysis in pharmaceutical industry it can be used in the analysis and determination of toxins in the body care products it is also used in textile industry paints and coloring industry paper industry so there are various applications of potassium it can we do acid based titration also on potassium meter yes we can also perform acid based titration on potassium meter but then we have to change the electrode calomel electrode will be used as raffin's electrode but indicator electrode should be the one which is reversible with hydrogen ion so we can use queen hydro electrode as the indicator electrode in such a titration i think i have covered almost all the possible vivovus equations if you have any more queries don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment box also don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share my video keep watching my videos keep spreading knowledge take care of yourself see you again till then bye bye